Contrary to popular belief, two things can be true at the same time. In this case, a Stanford basketball coach and an LSU gymnast both have valid points. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And if you're so inclined, you can follow me on all things social media at Jackie Ray TV. Now, the fight for women's rights has been a long-fought battle. In 1972, Title IX was passed prohibiting sex discrimination in any educational program or activity receiving any type of federal financial aid. It would take several years before Title IX was fully adopted and provided equality in sports. In fact, in 1976, the NCAA filed a lawsuit challenging the legality of Title IX, and it took two years before that lawsuit was dismissed. And yet, we still have challenges. Naysayers, mostly men, will say the women in the WNBA need to lower the rim or dress sexier. There is a constant battle in women's volleyball over those skimpy outfits, and the professional women's soccer team had to fight for equal pay. And for years, the only version of professional football was the lingerie league. Women's professional sports are constantly bombarded with patriarchy, sexism, and small-minded men who think the only value a woman has is her looks. So the last thing professional female athletes should do is feed into that, theoretically. So now that we've set that groundwork, let's meet Olivia Dunn. If you follow her on her Instagram page, you'd probably think she was nothing more than an IG model. In fact, you would have to scroll back 31 weeks before you realize she is a gymnast at LSU. Okay, so now if you live and breathe a sport, it probably dominates so much of your time and thought process that no one should have to scroll back that far before they know what you do. But maybe gymnastics is something she does, but it's not her long-term goal. And thanks to college students getting NIL deals, she can profit from doing that while getting her education, and profit she is. Olivia Dunn might not have a gold medal in her future, but with 8 million followers across her social media platforms, she is still winning with $2 million in NIL deals. Considering the struggle bus that most college athletes are on, you have to appreciate what this means. Sure, not everyone is going to be able to earn $2 million, but there is a chance to earn, and students can carve out their own niche and earn something. But there is a downside to this, and Stanford women's basketball coach Tara Vanderveer decided to point that out. She told the Daily Mail, quote, I guess sometimes we have this swinging pendulum where we maybe take two steps forward and then we take a step back. We're fighting for all the opportunities to compete, to play, to have resources, to have facilities, to have coaches, and all the things that go with Olympic caliber athletics. This is a step back. I mean, she's not wrong. When I first saw this headline, I thought this was about Aaron Rodgers' ex-girlfriend. Please don't judge me, okay? Olivia Dunn, Munn, it's an honest mistake. But my point is, I didn't know this woman because she's an athlete. You ask 90% of women athletes and they want to be known because of how dope they are at the sport they play. Not because Shaq says they should lower the rim, not because of who they're dating, and not because of how they look. But like I said, Two things can be true at the same time. So while I think Coach Vanderveer has a point, I think Olivia Dunn has one too. She responded to Coach's comments by saying, quote, seven figures. That is something I'm proud of, especially since I'm a woman in college sports. There are no professional leagues for most women's sports after college. Also facts. Sometimes you have to take one for the team, and sometimes you have to take one, or in this case, two million of them, for your damn self. I can tell you earning and maintaining respect in any sport as a woman is a rough and daily battle. Relying on TNA makes that battle 10 times harder. But earning $2 million is rough as well and damn near impossible even if you do make it to a professional women's league. So I'm calling this one a wash. But what do you think? Do both women have a point? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray and thanks for watching The Fumble.